Okay, um, in our last lesson, we uh, came up with uh, a way to uh, basically you know, draw our turtle on the screen. We have a border. Uh, the turtle hits the border. Uh, it bounces off. Let's take a look at that. Here we're drawing our border. And our turtle turns left and right. We use keyboard bindings. We can increase the speed. And boom. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to add a you know some kind of goal to the game. So again, this is a simple game. So what we want to do is we want to add a, a little goal and something something that the you know the player can chase after. Um, so I'm going to say create goal and so I'm going to say goal equals turtle dot turtle. And I say the goal, I'm going to make mine color, let's say make it red. You can make it whatever you want, of course. And goal.shape. And one of the other shapes we can use is circle. Again, check the documents for, for details on that. And I don't need it to draw anything, so goal.pen up. And I guess we can do goal.speed, but just in case. I'm not sure if we need to do that, though. So let's run our game and see what happens. Okay, so you can see now we've got our, our player. Player can move, and we've got our little red dot. Uh, that's going to be our goal for, for our game. Um, so when we start the game, uh, we need to put the basically put the you know the red dot the goal somewhere so I'm just I'm gonna use the set position so goal just for testing now set position I'm gonna set it to minus 100 and say minus 100 just, just for practice let's test it okay so you can see now it's here and Close that. We don't need it. Okay. So now here comes kind of kind of the hard part. Um, we need to do something. So when my turtle, the player turtle, touches the goal, um, that was where we would get a point or we would do something. Okay. So what we need to do something called is uh, you know collision detection. And basically how that's going to work, at least in, in this particular version of the game, uh, is we're going to look at the distance between the two objects. Um, so basically, if you know, so if two objects are touching, then the distance between them is very, very small, and so we need to test the distance uh, between the two objects, and we're going to do that using uh, basically Pythagorean theorem and uh, some of the math functions in in Python. So to do that, we're going to use math, and uh, basically, if you understand the formula. We're using Pythagorean theorem. So basically, we're taking our x coordinate of one, uh, subtracting it from the x coordinate of the other, squaring it, adding that to the difference between the y coordinates, and squaring that, and then taking the square root of that. And that will give us the distance between the two objects. So let me just do that here uh, for now. We'll change it to a function later. So collision checking. So d, which is going to be our distance, equals math.sqrt. That sets the square root of math.pow. So that is the square root of the, I'm going to put that, two. so we've got two turtles. So I've got my player.xcore minus uh, goal dot x core. So I've got that squared, so that's what that all does. I'm going to add that to the square. Pal. Same thing. Player dot y core minus goal dot y core. Comma squared, and I think we need one more of those. 
So that so basically if so now we can measure the distance. Okay, so if the distance is less than a certain amount, like let's try like a 20, I found that 20 works pretty good in this, but uh, we can make it a little bit more strict. Uh, maybe 15, but you can kind of play around with it. Uh, well, we'll try 20. So if the distance is less than 20, um, let's make the goal disappear. So goal dot hide turtle. Okay, so it's not less than 20, we can just ignore that. Okay, so let's run it. So, okay, so you can see as I got close to it, it just dis disappeared okay, because the distance was less than a certain amount. Okay. So what I could do instead at this point, this is where I could say, okay, I'm going to add a, uh, not sorry, I'm going to add a score. I could, you know, my score goes up by ten. Um, I could say, yeah, you know, I could play a sound. You know, we've learned how to play sounds in the past. Um, now this, you know, obviously the game is kind of boring. So what I might want to do in this case, instead of hiding the turtle, I might want to move it to a random position. Okay, so we've done that before. So we know how to use random. So import random. So what I'll do is instead of hiding the turtle, I want to set the position okay, to random dot rand int, and the minimum is minus three hundred. The maximum is 300 on the x coordinate, and oops, random dot. Same thing, minus 300, comma 300. And it's one too many. Save it. So let's try that. Okay, so I touched it, moves to a random spot. And we, yeah, again, we got the beginnings of a little game here. So again, just to review that, um, we've created our new turtle, just using the same methods we used up here. Um, we set it to a certain position. Now we could, again, we could set it to a random position at the beginning, um, which might make more sense. Um, so I can just basically copy that, since I've already done it, and and then start off random position. We use the formula for finding distance between two points, and we just pick, like I said, in this case, 20 seems to work really well. So if the distance between the two objects is less than 20, um, that's the center of the objects, right? Not the actual distance from the edge. So center of the objects, um, if it's less than 20, then we just move it to a new spot. And again, that kind of gives us a little bit of a kind of game type atmosphere. Not the greatest game in the world, but you know, you can see the, the principles at work here. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we'll continue on with that uh, in the next